Hi, it's Sarah here from So Sarah Style. I hope you're all well. I have had to come on today because today has been the release of the new Fibre Mood Special magazine. And one of the patterns in there has meant that I have bought and downloaded and printed a pattern in the fastest time ever. It is the new Delma cape shirt trench coat hybrid whatever you'd like to call it um it, to me it's just the the pattern i have been waiting for for so long it's um it reminds me of this i've got this cape here which is um it's a, it's a ready to wear cape that i bought from h&m i think years ago and i i do wear it an awful lot and every time i wear it people say oh that's a bit different where did you get that from have you made it no i haven't made it but i have been on the lookout for a cape pattern it goes really well over anything with a big sleeve or um, if you just want to liven up a, a boring outfit, then it's it's perfect for um, for throwing on over the top of that. So as I say, I have had, I have been keeping my eye out. This popped up this morning and I thought, right, absolutely, I'm getting it. But what I love about this is it's not just a cape. It's all, it's all, it's got that lovely shirt collar as well. You can have it with a hood. Um, I may do it with a hood if I was thinking about doing it in a more practical fabric but I just love the combination it's sort of a, a bit shirty and it's also a little bit sort of um, reminiscent of a trench coat and um, I can't wait to get going on it so I have 56 pages to, to stick together but it's going to be worth it I'm sure um, so I just thought in the meantime I will just hop on show you a few of the fabrics that I'm thinking of making it from because I haven't actually made a decision yet and then get on and make it and, and show you show you the results so it won't be long because I'm really desperate to get it made up so I think it basically says that you can make it pretty much in whatever you want let's have a look what uh, fabric advice just about any fabric from Mac or trench coat will work for Delma but a nice wool blend or a cotton fabric are also good options however we recommend avoiding fabrics that are too thick so um, when I first saw it I thought it was a shirt and so I think it would make a really nice shirt in some lighter weight fabrics, but I want to make it, I'm kind of thinking of sort of a denim fabric. Um, that reminds me, I'll just remind you of, of what we're, of what we're wearing today. Twinning is winning, I reckon today. This is a Fibre Mood Fricker hoodie, which um, I've shown before, I think. Um, I do really like this hoodie. It's got the, the hem band with the, with, with the grommets and the tie. And this is the Chalk and Notch page hoodie actually obviously without the hood this has also got a drawstring hem with with the ties so that was obviously made from leftovers from this so um that's what i'm wearing today and um i'm, I'm staying color coordinated because i'm showing you a lot of blues these are all fabrics that i've pulled out of my stash some of which i've had for a long time but i think would work really really well with the the delma um the fabric uh, let's just have a look at the fabric recommendations. I'm going to make the size small, I think. This is a medium, and I do tend to wear medium in um, in fibre mood, but because this is literally just cut, I think, a bit like a rectangle, I'm going to go for the small, because as I keep saying, I don't have very big shoulders, and I don't want it just to feel too big. So I'm gonna, my first one I make is going to be a small. Fabric use, it's saying two metres 40. Well, that's interesting. So that might rule out some of these fabrics that I've got here, um, but not all of them. Two metres 40 seems a lot, doesn't it? So anyway, once once I've printed it out and had a look at the pattern pieces, I'll I'll have a look at that. It does seem a little bit generous. Um, so this first one is I think I've got just over just over one and a half meters. This is a denim that I bought from the knitting and stitching show um, down in in London. It was Stitch Fest, whatever it was called. Anyway, the one at Alexandra Palace, and it was an off cut of um, a pinstripe denim, which I think would be really, really lovely if I've got enough. But this is the one that I've got the smallest, the least amount of. So I think, I think I might struggle to get it out of that one. I don't know. Let's have a look at the pattern pieces. So that's hopefully an option. The, the second one I have is a bit different, but I really love this one. And I've definitely got enough of this. This is a cotton canvas and um, it's got these wave prints on. And I think that will make quite that will make a lovely Delma. I don't know whether to try a plain one first, and then if I really like it, then have have a patterned one. But that's great because it's kind of it's so busy. I haven't got to worry about pattern matching because there's this sort of the flap and the the extra bits and bobs might 
might be a bit more challenging if I made it in something like this one, which is another cotton canvas which I've had for a long time. But I've got a few of these in my stash, a few checked items, and I am terrified of pattern matching. Although I think this one's fairly small, so it might it might just be that you just go for it and don't think too much about it because the checks aren't that big. So that's another option. That's quite a nice warm blue with the beige. So I do really like that one. That's another option. The um, Another one I have is, this is the fabric that I use to make my disastrous dungarees and it's a bengaline, so it's a bit stretchy. So I don't think it matters too much. Um, it has got a bit of stretch to it, but it's quite a nice weight for um, for the actual, for the Delma jacket itself. And I can, I can see something like that in that colour being um, useful. Here I am going back to the brands again. So let's just move on from that one. Um, and if I wanted to make it with a hood, I've got this really lovely um, waterproof fabric, which, um, oh, I don't know where I got this from either. These are all, these have all been in the stash for a while and that might make a really nice hooded one. Don't think it would work so well with the collar. I think it would look a bit odd to have an out of wear garment with a collar, but for one with a hood, I think that would work really, really nicely. So I think I'm gonna see how I get on with the one with the collar first and then um, and then maybe make the one with the hood. So that just leaves me with the one that's just dropped on the floor, which is the one that I think I'll probably will end up making because I have enough of it as well. I absolutely love it. This was my uh, pineapple chambray fabric from um, the lovely um, Staffordshire sewist Sally from the Staffordshire Social. She took it to the swaps table and I snapped it up. I really do love this. But this is almost more like a shirting weight because it's a chambray. So this again will give a different look. My, I think probably my preference, it's always the way, isn't it, would be the first one, which is the, the stiffer denim to try it first. But then having said that, I do like the fact that it's a shirt as well. So that would definitely be more jackety um and this one would be more shirty as it were so i think i will um, i'm going to print as i say it's printed out i need to stick it together and i need to just have a look at the pattern pieces and then make a decision as usual i can't make decisions <laughs> to save my life but i as you can tell i'm really quite excited to be just getting on uh, and making this pattern up so i'll come back to you um and um and and let you know how i've got on so here we are with the finished cape I'll just do you a little twirl. Um, I am really pleased with it, in spite of the fact that I made three very big mistakes with it, but I will I'll get onto that in a minute. Um, I love this, the storm flap here and the, um, the sort of capey type um, pleat vent thing at the back. Um, it's just really easy. As I say, these are brilliant for, if you've got something with big sleeves um, that you want to throw over, then they're, they're really good for that. Um, and the, I just like the simplicity of it. Again, there's um, sort of the hidden, there's hidden snaps. I've used snaps instead of buttons underneath here. Um, I've yet to put the snaps on, but there will be hidden snaps. Instead of buttons, I've used snaps for the, the side bits as well. So, um, all in all, I think it's really, really lovely. It is quite cropped, so if you're um, if you're particularly tall or you want it longer, I would definitely lengthen it. I quite like this length. Um, now then, I will go on to what I got wrong. First of all, when I said, "Oh, they're a bit generous with the um, uh, the two, I think it's two point four meters of fabric," actually. I hadn't taken into account that obviously you almost you don't quite make it twice, but this there's a separate piece here and then there's another bit that goes over the back as well. So they are pretty big pattern pieces. So I had um, this was a fabric I didn't show you. So having gone through all those different fabrics, I actually found something in my stash, which was almost a cross between the first fabric, which I wanted to do, which was the pinstripe denim and the pineapples so i thought well i'll try it with that i knew i had enough of, of that of this fabric as well so i thought well i'll try it with this first and and see how i go um so it is it's um it's, it's like a chambray weight and it's in as i say it's in between a denim and a chambray so it's quite a nice weight i think so i've under i've just undone the neck piece um to be honest because um 
I just wanted to show you the, this was mistake number three. I'll get onto that in a second. Mistake number one was um, made right at the start of the whole sewing journey of this of this cape. Um, I'd said that it, I had to print out 50 odd pieces of paper, but it was worth it because uh, I really wanted to make the cape, blah, blah. So I printed them all out and stuck them together. And then um, I thought, right, I'll, I'll get sewing it tomorrow morning. Next morning arrived and I realised that I'd only printed out the seam allowance. So you know when you can use the layers option, I don't know how I'd done it, but make sure that you don't untick all the boxes, make sure that you've actually got the seams as well as the seam allowances. So I then needed to reprint to reprint it and um, get it stuck, stuck back together again and cut out. So I made the size small. I had to stick it together twice, which was a bit frustrating to put it mildly. The uh, the next um, issue was, and I really don't know uh, how I did this, or I just obviously didn't think about it. When I laid out my fabric to cut, I put it for some reason face down. So I cut the back, cut, cut it from, from the, um, the wrong side of the fabric, which then meant that, and I didn't realize it right until the very end, that all the instructions and everything, I was thinking, well, they, these instructions look like they are the wrong way round. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but anyway, we'll plow on regardless. It was only at the end when I went on onto Instagram just to have a look at other people's makes that I realized this whole storm flap is supposed to be on that side. Everything is the wrong way round on mine. It doesn't really matter, but it was just frustrating. And it was just like, why, why did I cut it on the back of the fabric? But anyway, um, I did. So um, that was mistake number two. Mistake number three was probably the most catastrophic because unfortunately it's meant that it's not unwearable, but it's really frustrating. The eagle eyed amongst you may have noticed that the collar is all heading that way. I mean, it is just ridiculous. Um, and I can kind of twist it around a little bit and do it up and make it work. But it's not, it's far from ideal. And the reason for that is because this collar piece I sewed all the way to the end of here instead of instead of there. I obviously got, uh, got on and thought, oh, I know how to put a collar together. I'll just stick it on there. And you may be wondering how on earth I got this collar to fit all the way there. Well, instead of going back to the instructions thinking, oh, the collar doesn't fit very well, I started taking <laughs> bits out of the shoulders to make the whole neck smaller in order to fit the collar all the way to there. So <sighs> by the time I'd got there, I then tried to to, to I thought, well, where am I going to put my buttons? None of this works. Finally, worked it out in the instructions. But by then, obviously, I'd stretched the collar piece out. So I just hacked a piece off the end of the collar. So the collar's now too short on that side, which is why all of my entire collar, look at that, is going that way. It's so frustrating. Um, it's wearable if I keep it open. I don't think anybody will notice too much. So I think that's probably the way that I'm going to wear it. I will definitely be making another one because I really, really like it. Um, but um, it'll be in, a, in one of the fabrics that I showed you earlier, I think either a pineapple or the waves one, I think will be quite nice. It actually really is a simple sew. If you follow the instructions, it's really not, not a problem at all. It's a load of rectangles, quite a lot of um, just simple, simple square hemming um, and then some, some bias binding that they have you cut on the side. So it's a really nice finish as well. Um, so it's, I just, I think it's lovely. I definitely will be having another one of these. Um, so then moving on to um, another mistake that I made. These uh, trousers that I've got on are the Onyx pants. It's another pair of Onyx pants that I made. And um, I really, really do love this pattern. So these I had made with a full seat adjustment, I think it's called that I got from a fabulous girl um, who is Gather and Ease on Instagram. She, because all these pattern pieces, because obviously these trousers are cut in, there's two pieces for the front and two pieces for the back, and then it's stitched together and, and um, top stitched down the front. So because it's in two pieces, I couldn't really work out how to do a full seat adjustment. Anyway, she she's done one on Instagram. So if you're if you've got any trousers that are in two pieces, it's definitely worth going and having a look on uh, on her Instagram. If you look up the Onyx Pants hashtag, um, she's got her little tutorial on there as well. So I used that, um, which is which is really these are more comfortable than my original pair because obviously the she, I've added one and a half inches to the rise 
so it's got more whoop, room to go up to the back so the others I felt were dragging down a little bit on the waistband but these fit really nicely so I'd, I've got these and then I thought to myself this week right I'm going to make another pair I've got some really nice fabric well it's the same fabric funnily enough that I made the first ones in but it's just in a different colour and um, so I spent all the time sorting it out or cutting it out sewing it up top stitching it carefully put them on and thought what on earth has happened to these I don't know if you can see there um, but all the seams are completely and utterly twisted to the front and oh, there you go so that seam is the in inside seam which is kind of coming out everything's just twisted it just looks absolutely ridiculous when it's on the reason for that is that, again, because I'd made a few pairs of these with my twirls and everything, thought I knew what I was doing and attached the back pieces the wrong way round. So that's a complete waste. I can't really do much with these because in order to change them round, I would have to literally cut this all over locked and top stitched, cut down the seams and they'd probably be far too tight by the time I did that. The only thing I might try and do is because the twist happens further down, I might try and make them into just shorten them really and make them into um, sort of cropped trousers for the summer so that's another thing just always follow the instructions don't think that you know what to do and go off piste like I do so that's that was two um yeah two problems that I had and the other thing I wanted to show you is actually a success so I will just hop on um I'll come back with that on and I'll show you in a second Okay, so there are no prizes for guessing what this is. It is another LB pullover, but the difference is this is in a woven. So this is the leftover fabric from the uh, the cape, the Delma cape that I've made. I am trying obviously to use all my scraps um, as I can, and there was a fair amount left, and I know I can get the LB pullover out of less than a metre. So um, I thought, right, well, I'm gonna make one of those. I have put a little bit of light of light interfacing in the collar piece because I, I do like my, um, my my collars to stand up and the great thing about the well one of the many great things about the LB pullover is that it can be made in knits and a woven I haven't sized up because I'd made my LB pullover fairly large and, and oversized anyway because I wanted it to be comfy for my loungewear so I think it works beautifully in both I could have used, there's also a knit neck band piece as well, because I quite like the combination of knits and wovens. So I think this is going to be one of my summer t-shirt patterns now with a knit neck band. And you can use literally any fabric that you have in your um, in your stash to make this, this from. So it is yet another fabulous LB pullover. I am biased, I know, but um, I just thought I'd, I wanted to share that with you as well, because I think it's such a good pattern. So that's probably it for me today i'm looking around just seeing if there's anything else to tell you about um no on these onyx pants obviously are fine one disastrous pair of onyx pants three three mistakes with the cape but i'm pleased with the rb pullover so that's it from me today um i um i hope you'll you have a good sewing week and i will catch you soon thanks take care bye